Question six. The letters X, Y, and Z represent lengths. Place a tick in the appropriate column for each expression to show where the expression can be used to represent a length, an area, a volume, or none of these. So my key tip here is just to model each of these as L. So no matter what the variable is, it's a length. So this is essentially a length plus a length plus a length, which is three lots of a length. All right, so I mean, if I, if I consider it like this, obviously it's not the same length, so it's not strictly accurate, but it's like three lots of a length, which is still a length, so that is a length. And if I consider this one, it's like a length times a length times a length, which is a length cubed, which is a volume. Again, it's not strictly right, because these are different lengths, but it's a way of being able to make sure you get the dimensional analysis correct. Okay, um, and this is a length times a length, plus a length times a length, plus a length times a length, which is essentially a length squared plus a length squared plus a length squared, which is three times a length squared, which is just an area. If you have any, had any difficulties with questions 6, 7 and 8, then it's the Corbett Maths book that you need to complete.